That was the first episode of uh of Spider-Man. I'm I'm actually looking forward to the uh to the second one. So in episode two, Spider-Man's sleeping in his bed and Garaya's like, yo, the uh the Iron Cross army's on the move. Uh I need you to go outside and check some shit out. So he goes and he jumps out of a window and I guess he climbs the only building that they allow him to climb in Japan. And he stands out there and says, it's windy. That's why they're on the move. Something's going on. And then the wind stops abruptly. And he's like, all right, we need to, we now need to investigate the wind. Yeah. I guess Spider-Man goes to bed because then we get to a scene where uh, Spider-Man's sister is, is in the kitchen and, and she's all freaking out because there's a spider on the table, right? And she yells at Spider-Man's little brother, uh, Takuji, right? And she's like, hey, little fuck, why did you put the spider on the table? There's been a lot of spiders lately. And he's like, shut up, bitch. I didn't put no fucking spiders on the table. Uh, that wasn't me. And she's like, you know, I'm scared of spiders. So they have a little fight about that. And then... Uh, fucking... She goes outside... And she goes and she sees the, the reporter, which her, her name is Hatomi. And she's like, hey, Hatomi, what's up? And Hatomi's like, hey, hey. what's up, Bushido? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it isn't my man Bushido. Uh, you know, doing ninja stuff, motorcycle stuff, too. <laughs> and Hatomi's like, uh, where's your brother? And she goes and she says, well, he's, he's a lazy piece of shit. He's inside sleeping. So uh, Hatomi goes inside and, and she goes and she's awake, Spider-Man up and he's like hey uh there was an accident over at the trains uh a train got knocked over some shit uh can you go give me a ride over there so i can be uh a photojournalist and and get a prize or some shit i don't know that's all those fucking cocksuckers want everybody wants a prize you know so they get on the spider bike and they start driving over and over there and she's like hey you drive like a bitch and he's like nah check this shit out i'm spider-man then after looking at some stock footage of uh, what occurred there, uh, one person's like, it's a squall, which I think it's like a, a just a, a big gust of wind or something. Squall is a noun. And what is it? Look, a sudden storm with strong winds, or a sudden storm with strong winds, or a sudden storm with strong winds, or a आम बोलचाल में हम इसे झंझावात कहते हैं इसकी सिनो डर समथिंग बट स्पाइडरमैन्स लाइक नो सो आफ्टर स्पाइडरमैन सीज द एक्शन राइट ही ही डिसाइड्स टू गो टू चर्च एंड एंड रेमिनेस ऑफ प्रीटी मच व्हाट एपिसोड 1 वाज बट आई मीन देयर वर सम डिटेल्स थ्रोन इनटू इट फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक ऑल राइट सो गोराया राइट ही इज फ्रॉम एम77 नेबुला of the Milky Way or some shit. I think what is that? M77 Nebula of the Milky Way is where Spider Planet is located. And I guess he was like a... He was like a, a seahorse man or something as he was getting back because, you know, his, his family got killed. And he's all pissed off. He's like, I'm going to get your ass. And, and, you know, they show how he's going to Earth. And, you know, that's on, on the first video. Go watch that one. Way better. And uh, they're just recapping of like... I, I saved you with my magic bracelet and you know y you're special now spider-man and with great responsibility you better do it or yeah they, they cut that shit off just like that so for the for the time period it, it was supposed to be 400 years back so it was like feudal Japan and this motherfucker wants to come rolling up in a, in a car no one said anything. No one saw nothing. You think if this was real shit, somebody comes rolling up in a car. I mean, we we seen how they've done it in other films. Nope. He just continues on monologuing about how uh, Doctor Doom fucked his life up and everything. He falls in a cave, and so one thing was kind of fucking interesting. That so as he's in the cave, for every twenty years, what was it? For fucking every one year. 
and spider planet it's it's 20 years uh in on earth so in other words he was in that cave for 20 years by the time he he found fucking the guy that was going to be spider-man or, or how, however that happened and that's all they they kind of break down and, and that that whole period just uh, a recap of the of the first fucking episode and how horseshoe man or see uh blah, uh seahorse man fucking seek revenge or wanted to seek revenge and you know because spider man dad got killed by fucking dr doom's friends or some shit his homies you know they, they fucking power ranger bonded and decided they were gonna kill everybody together so yeah that's that's how that scene ended and you know he, he's still in the church so as he's coming out of the church uh hitomi and his sister are, are like walking out and talking right and he's overhearing them and hitomi's like yeah there's some guy that they think he's crazy because uh he was on a train he was a survivor and he saw something he said it was a ghost or something weird and spider-man's like okay where did he say it and why he's like well i'm gonna go to the police station and uh get some photos or something or or some in that sense and when they get there there's sirens and shit and and the guy's dead right somehow they got inside the building no one else could but they did and the detective's like he's dead right and so spider-man asks hitomi he's like but tell me what was it that you heard and he's like well this guy he, he said that he saw this like brain figure with like a brain stem just floating there and then he did a thunderous roar and the train flipped over and spider-man's like you know that kind of information is going to get you fucking whacked if if the certain people are there then at the same time you see fucking amazon chick amazon chick pops out and it's like yeah she was the one that killed him it was you amazon chick you evil person <coughs> excuse me took a lot of work to just not say bitch <coughs> all right so spider-man and, and hitomi are sitting there talking about you know what she saw and then like his spider sense gets triggered and he's like something's going on and he's like run and she starts running and uh he gets attacked for like the duck bill goombas again they're pretty cool they start triple flipping you know they're having a good time and uh spider-man's fighting him and the girl runs away and yeah that's it so as soon as spider-man finishes kicking like all the duck bills ass and everybody gets kicked you know their ass kicked you know they all disappear fucking uh amazonian which is her name but she just looks like a fucking prostitute right she's all pissed off with she's like how the fuck are you not able to beat spider-man and uh dr doom is like she's right and i think that's a, that's uh what's his name uh, goraya but i'm not too sure but uh so then they get into like hey spider-man why are you such not spider-man but you know the 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 guy who plays Spider-Man is like, hey, why are you such a bitch? Why didn't you defend, you know, H Hitomi? And he's like, I don't believe in violence. And Hitomi's like, yeah, there was somebody better there anyways. It's like a spider guy or something. And uh, Spider-Man's like, no, his name is Spider-Man. And he says, he's awesome. And then Goraya hangs and he's like, hey, there's something going. You know, he hangs low and he thinks he talks to him. I don't know. I, this he just is there he doesn't tell him anything and then he just dies and spider-man's like well i guess you've already died once and now you can die twice and, and rest easy buddy because i'm gonna avenge us as long as i can so as spider-man crushes <laughs> crushes him in his hand uh he decides that he he needs to go and see what's going on so he gets in his car to find the wall that he's going to climb. And he starts, like, climbing the wall, right? And then... Once he's done climbing his wall... I didn't know this, but uh, I guess Spider-Man also have uh, psychic powers. And I don't mean, like, the the Spider-Man... Uh, you know, a Spidey sense. No, this motherfucker has psychic abilities that he can sense where the Iron Army is. So... He senses where the army is. So once uh, Spider-Man finds out using his psychic powers where the 
the Iron Cross Army is. He gets in his car and just starts driving down the road, right, to to get to the Iron Cross Army. But on the way, there's a there's a train, and this train gets not the train, but the railroad tracks ahead of it get uh, blasted by the by the brain guy, right, the brain stem, and the brain. And Spider Man's like, oh fuck, what am I gonna do? So he goes and he jumps on the train, right. And he goes up to the conductor. The co conductor's looking at him like, who the fuck are you? Then he takes his, his uh, Spider-Man rope and pulls and stops the, the train immediately. I fucking start laughing because, I mean, we all know what happens when a, when a, when a train... Uh, <laughs> when you try to put something in a way and the train stop, tries to stop. I mean, come on. So after Spider-Man stops the train, he, he goes to the brain, he goes, what's your name? And he says, my name is Machine Bem, and he's like, you can't stop me. And Spider-Man's like, the fuck I will. And he gets, <laughs> he goes and he says, I'm going to get in my car and chase you. So he goes and he chases the, the, the brain to, to a specific location where Spider-Man starts fighting with all the fucking duckbill goombas. Uh, as they casually play the uh, TV show intro. So for about two minutes, you just get an intro and him just uh, beating up the Goombas, uh, putting him in ropes. And he grabs the brain because now it's just him and the brain and he, th he throws it up against the wall. And the brain's like, no, fuck this. So this body comes out of nowhere, Mr. Krabs, right? <laughs> And the brain's like, yeah, it's it's go time again, you know, Power Ranger. So then the uh, the the fucking creature gets all big and shit, right? So Spider Man starts doing like loops and circles with his, I think it's uh, XJ7. This is the name of the car. Uh, I'll correct it later. And then uh, the the fucking kaiju is like, oh no, you're doing circles around me and shooting very small missiles, but it's not working. Because it never works. Until you bring out... Uh... Pantador? Pandora? The fucking guy's name. Uh... His... His Voltron. So you bring out his Voltron. And he's... He... He... He spits at him now. He's got a, a spider spit power. His... His magic hat. And his... Fucking... He's like, when I'm done with you, we're just gonna throw the sword at your ass. And guess what happens? Like, every episode, I'm gonna assume... Uh, Kablooey... Uh, our friend goes away. And we no longer have a kaiju. Then the episode ends with... With him steering the ship. And... The voiceover saying that... Spider-Man will never be defeated. That his sole purpose in life... Is to carry on... <laughs> carry on revenge and seek revenge for the death of his father and the father of uh, well actually it's Goraya's complete planet which is, which is you know just to have this one guy wouldn't you think you uh, i think i'd have one more one more person help me if they destroyed my whole planet but hey it is what it is um yeah that's uh that's episode uh two of uh japanese spider-man it's it's awesome it's actually really good uh yeah.